The next day, she carried her secret weapon to school in her satchel. She was tingling with excitement. She was longing to tell Matilda about her whole plan of battle. In fact, she wanted to tell the whole class, but she finally decided to tell nobody. It was better that way because then no one, even when put under the most severe torture, would be able to name her as the culprit. Lunchtime came. Today it was sausages and baked beans, Lavender's favorite, but she couldn't eat it. Are you feeling all right, Lavender? Miss Honey asked from the head of the table. I had such a huge breakfast, Lavender said. I really couldn't eat a thing. Immediately after lunch, she dashed off to the kitchen and found one of the Trunchbull's famous jugs. It was a large bulging thing made of blue glazed pottery. Lavender filled it half full of water and carried it together with the glass into the classroom and set it on the teacher's table. The classroom was still empty. Quick as a flash, Lavender got her pencil box from her satchel and slid open the lid just a tiny bit. The newt was lying quite still. With great care, she held the, she held the box over the neck of the jug and pulled the lid fully open and tipped the newt in. There was a plop as it landed in the water, then it thrashed around wildly for a few seconds before settling down. And now to make the newt feel more at home, Lavender decided to give it all the pond weed from the pencil box as well. The deed was done. All was ready. Lavender put her pencils back into the rather damp pencil box and returned it to its correct place on her own desk. Then she went out and joined the others in the playground until the it was time for the lesson to begin. And that is where we will pause this video. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.